Hi, and welcome to this overview of SAP Business One, HANA. People often ask, what is HANA? And how is SAP Business One on HANA different? HANA is essentially database technology from SAP. It's in-memory technology, very fast processing power on elements like analytics and reporting. As the amount of data that we have grows and we get data from different sources, we may want to compare big volumes of data this year versus last year, this quarter versus last quarter. And we probably want to move towards dynamic, interactive, analytical type reporting. And SAP Business One HANA allows us to do this. Because of this in-memory technology, very quick processing time around the analytics and reporting, we can do things and analyze data that we never previously thought possible. This allows us to help with our decision-making processes because suddenly we've got access to cash flow forecasts that are totally dynamic sales forecasts, sales analysis, etc. So let's have a look at a couple of these SAP Business One HANA specific technologies and elements inside Business One. The first thing we'll notice when we log into the HANA version of SAP Business One is a slightly different look and feel. So I've got dashboards and KPIs. I can see top five customers by sales amount, top five suppliers, best sellers, etc. I can see that I have these SAP Business One HANA workbenches. So here I've got one on the purchasing process. We start with a purchase request, becomes a purchase order and a goods receipt. I can drill directly down to the purchase order from the screen without having to go into the menu structure. There I am, straight into the purchase order. If I want information associated with that screen, I can go into the open items list and there, for example, is my goods receipts. Or if I want to go in and look at my drafts reports, I can go into my draft reports or my price lists. So again, from that central screen in the HANA environment, I'm going directly down into the structures that I want to see. I can, of course, drill down if I want to look at my open AP invoices, drill down, and there are my open AP invoices. So again, a different look and feel and different KPIs and dashboards available in the HANA environment. Let's now look at what's called enterprise search. Just type in the word office into SAP Business One. Now again, using the strength of the HANA in memory technology, I've got about seven or eight years of data. SAP has already returned for me every single piece of master data, every single transaction with the word office in it. It's returned 19 pages of information. Now I know I'm looking, for example, for a quotation. So we just click on quotation. System narrows it down to two pages of information. I know it's not for Troy, Mary or Judy or Eric. I know that it's not for particular customers, but it's for one of these three or four customers up here. I'm down to one page of information. I've just been unticking the information I don't want or ticking the information I do want. I'm narrowing down my search criteria. Now I know that the quotation is dated this year. So let's go into posting date is from let's say the 1st of January 2015, up until today's date, the 20th of October, and I'm down to three quotes that may be the ones I'm looking for. I can hover over them and get more information. Enterprise search, searching across the system for a piece of information that I'm looking for, made available, made possible through HANA. Let's now look at interactive analysis. So the question we're often asked is, can I write my own reports in SAP Business One or any other system? The answer with HANA is yes. Let's say we want to go and write a sales analysis report. So let's click on sales revenue analysis in interactive analysis for HANA. The system will open up Microsoft Excel. Let's open that up. Here's the information I might want to report on. So I want to report on revenue. I want to report on, let's say items. I can see the report building on the left-hand side as I click the buttons. I want to report on month. And by the way, I want to filter by month. Let's drag that into the filter column. And let's add sales employee and let's make that something we want to filter on. So I've quickly built a report with filters by document month and filters by sales employee. There's the item codes, the items. And by the way, there the report is graphically. Simple, easy to write your own reports using SAP Business One HANA interactive analysis, not just for sales, but for opportunity analysis, profitability, financial analysis, budgets, etc., purchase analysis. Again, quick, easy access to the information I want. Another HANA specific element, let's go into 
Earthshaker Corporation, which are familiar with traditional UDFs on the side of, or can be added to the main form. But now we have an analytics as well. So here I'm looking at gross sales by customer by year, budget by item group, profit margin for the customer. If I don't want to see it graphically, I can see it in grid format, back to graphical format. Again, just nice little analytics on the side of the business partner form. Let's have a look at cash flow analysis. So cash flow forecasting. We go into our cash flow forecast and SAP business one for HANA. We can change the configuration. Let's change this configuration slightly. The certainty level of the elements we want included in our cash flow, just dynamically change those. Let's change this to all items we want included in the cash flow. And let's change the date range, just drag it along. With the power of SAP Business One HANA, we're now dynamically changing the cash flow analysis based on the information and criteria we want to see. Quick, easy access to the information you want, made possible because we're using this HANA in-memory technology to sort through that vast amount of information. In a similar way, you can do, for example, an available to promise check. I want to do an available to promise on a particular item. When is that item going to be available? for me, pick up the item and you can go in and have a look at when it might be available to promise. The same is true of delivery schedule management. I've got this item ready to go out. It's uh, out of stock in a particular area. So let me move around the delivery schedule associated with the item for that particular customer. Other elements, let's have a look as well at pervasive analytics. So the KPIs and dashboards that I um, created uh, a little bit earlier on that I was looking at on the main screen, here they are, receivables overdue, goods return, stock turnover, top five customers, best sellers. But let's go create some of our own KPIs. So we go into the KPIs, analytical view, let's do a sales KPI. What do we want to do? Let's say we want to have a look by revenue and by date. Actually, date we don't want this year, we want this quarter or we want this month, or whatever the case might be, again, we can go in and do exactly that. Okay, actually, we don't want to buy some, we want to buy quantity. There we go. Okay, so very simple example, but we're creating our own KPIs and dashboards inside the system. Let's go and do a, a slightly more complicated dashboard now. Pervasive analytics sitting inside SAP Business One for HANA, sales revenue analysis, fields are available, click on what you want. I want revenue. I want revenue by customer group. Actually, I don't want it in that format. I want it in a pie chart. Actually, I quite like it just in a grid. No, let's go back to column chart. Let's start to filter that. Go into filter and start to filter that particular um, dashboard. So what we've seen there inside SAP Business One for HANA is that there are a number of elements specific to uh, the HANA framework. Different look and feel, a number of additional KPIs and dashboards, these workflow type workbench processes, enterprise search, searching across the entire system for anything that you might be looking for. Interactive analysis, the ability to build quickly our own reports in pivot table type functions sitting in uh, MS Excel. Pervasive analytics, the ability to write our own KPIs dashboards by simply dragging across the information that we want. HANA specific elements like cash flow forecast, for example, delivery schedule management, okay, and available to promise. So a number of different aspects specific to SAP Business One HANA. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the presentation. Please don't forget that there are a number of other presentations and blogs available about SAP Business One HANA on the Leverage website at leveragetech.com.au. Thanks for watching.